Jacob caught one, Rob. What'd you catch? You caught a tadpole. Let's see. Where is he? Right there. He swam the wind. Oh, he's so little. Wait, focus it. There we go. Where is he? He's right. Ah, don't move. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Hearted, we're not like the others. No reason to be. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to our channel, Rich and Sarah Ida Home. Today, I have just a few errands to run. I have to go to Hobby Lobby, I have to go to Walmart, and I have to take the kids down to the pool. So the rumor is that Hobby Lobby has put out a lot of their 2022 um, Halloween and fall home decor. So I'm really excited to head over there. I went a few weeks ago and they were just starting to put out some of their fall decor. So I'm hoping that there's more out today. I know I spoke to one of the sweet sales ladies there and she said that they are doing a slow startup this year. So hopefully that's out. So we're gonna check that out um, and we're just gonna have a fun day together. And if you are all are new to our channel, Rich and I and our children just moved to Idaho. We live in the Meridian Eagle Star area of Idaho, Treasure Valley basically. Um, and so that is new to us. So all these places I'm going to like Walmart and Hobby Lobby and all this, um, it's all new places to us compared to where we were back at home. So it's always exciting to check out a different Walmart or a different Hobby Lobby. So um, it should be a really fun day. I'm excited. Um, I'm always excited to run the little errands like this and the boys love it too. All right, but first I have to finish my fizz and I have to clean up the mess in the back because I'm working on the school room slowly, you guys, but see, I have a little bit of a mess back there. So fizz, clean up, get the kids, let's Ah, I'm like giddily excited, you guys, to go into Hobby Lobby right now. did my heart so well to go to Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness, you guys, so many cute things. And yes, I did talk to the lady again. She said that it is a slow start. So every day they're putting out more and more fall and autumn home decor for 2022 at Hobby Lobby. So check your local stores. If you can go in once, twice a week, every day, that would be great because you'll see more. So I plan to go again later on at the end of the week. 
So my brain knows it is well over 100 degrees right now outside and fall and pumpkins and autumn and leaves and bright oranges and mustard yellows and cozy everything, blankets, warm, fuzzy things. I don't like all that pumpkin spice, cinnamon, all that should be the furthest thing on my mind right now. But y'all, I am so excited about fall here and I I have been a fall and autumn person my entire life. My dad is one, I inherited it, I am one. And so finally, we aren't living in Southern California. Um, I've lived obviously in other places because Rich is military and all that, but it's been a while, I haven't done it with kids. And we finally live somewhere that's gonna have four distinct seasons. I'm gonna actually get to wear like cute fall clothes and it's gonna feel cold like fall. And you guys, my heart is just so full right now. So now we're off to Walmart and y'all the super Walmarts around here are like legit. No joke. I used to hate Walmart in California and I love it here. It is like one of my favorite stores. Also, they have really cute home decor stuff too. Just saying, bought some pillows there for my couch and for the bench, my dining room bench. Adorable. Um, we gotta go there. I'm making spaghetti for dinner tonight with my in-laws who are still visiting us, which is so fun. And so I'm making a spaghetti dinner, like a legit spaghetti dinner with like Italian sauce and all that, all the stuff that Rich and I aren't eating, like Italians, not like we aren't eating meat like that. Um, but it's, I know from, you know, growing up this way, it's amazing. So we've got to make it that way. So I'm making that tonight and then I'm just going to get a few snacks um, with the boys and um, yeah. So, oh, oh, I have something so exciting, you guys. I like, I don't even know if I should tell you now or just hold on. It is so exciting to me. Okay. We ran home real quick for a potty break. So the boys are inside doing a potty break and I can have five minutes to myself in the car with you guys to tell you. Okay, so in the neighborhood that we live in, they do a fall boutique every year and they ask like some of the ladies if they wanted to do it, whoever wanted to join in and you sell things that you make, right? So, I'm so excited. Okay, so I submitted what I want to sell and they approved it. Um, you guys, I make a... I don't want to brag, but I make a really good apple butter in the fall and I've canned it in the past. I've done all kinds, I've been doing all kinds of jam preserves here, canning and stuff like that. So, um, that, and then also my sourdough is like doing really well. I've given a couple starters away and so I will be having a booth and I am selling my homemade jams and preserves and sourdough starters. Um, and you guys will get to see more about that. But my sourdough starter kits that I'm making for those who want to start doing sourdough, but they don't really know how to do it, how the whole kit works, all that kind of thing. So um, that's happening and I'm starting to, I have a whole little business like going with that. I'm getting stuff ready for all of that. Um, and so yeah, it's called Sarah Ann's Sourdough and Homemade Preserves because I'm Sarah Ann and it's in October and it's gonna have all the fall feels and all the fall vibes and so I'm getting ready for that so I'm gonna show you guys that as it kind of goes along and as we start doing that more and more I'm looking into selling it local vendors at different street fairs around here and all that so I want you guys to kind of check in and see and be part of that okay the boys are back here Oh, and if you're interested in buying any of my sourdough starter kits or my homemade preserves or anything from Sarah Ann, um, I'll, I'll start linking my Etsy to you guys because I'm just getting that up and running. Um, and then you guys can purchase stuff there or just even look and see all sorts of things. I also paint. Um, I love to do oils and um, acrylic paints, paintings. And so I'll show you guys some of those. Um, but I'm starting to sell my prints on there as well. So on Etsy and different things. So I will give you guys all the links to all those things if you're interested. We just did our errands at Walmart and we got some treats. Jacob has some little apples and cheese and salamis and Joey has some pretzels and cheese. And, and Jacob apples too. apples too. I want to have Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. Not so healthy, but still we did it. And we're done with errands. We gotta go home and make spaghetti dinner. And swim. <laughs> Alright guys. Alright everybody, so I only purchased one 
thing today at Hobby Lobby for myself and it's my welcome sign. And the reason being is because I figured that I, I don't know, I feel like it just goes really well for every holiday. It's like it's black and white, so I can kind of have it right now for the summer, but then I feel like I could do for the fall with like big pumpkins and Thanksgiving and then Christmas, it would still go, you know, like if I added little Christmas trees and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's Okay, we are tadpole catching today, <laughs> right now. Do you see any? Oh, I see them. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're just kind of all Stop over. Walking. I don't know if I can pick them up on camera, but they're all over the place. See if you catch any. <laughs> you guys catch any? Oh, here's a little one right there. Little baby guys, right there. Get him. Nothing? <laughs> Jacob caught one, Rob. What'd you catch? You caught a tadpole. Let's see. Where is he? Right there. He's from the wind. Oh, he's so little. Wait, focus it. There we go. Where is he? He's right. Ah, don't move. I want to catch that tadpole. Jacob. Okay, I cannot get him on there. Oh, there he is, I'm a little tadpole. Let me see, let me see. Look at it. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. <laughs> what are you going to name him? Um, well, I can't keep him. Yeah, so. just for a little bit. I'm going to name him, let's see, because he will become a frog. He will. Beans Junior. Beans Junior. <laughs>